What is going on guys? This your boy DMC Tam and once a V side Tan Tiger Zero One Deep and Gold Dragon. Welcome to another episode of Bangla Washed where I'm gonna talk about the match between Bangladesh and West Indies in the Walton Financial Series 2019 in Ireland. Bangladesh end up winning their first ever Tri Nation series and remaining undefeated in this tournament. Undefeated for four of their five games they played. One of their games did not even uh, get off the ground due to rain. So in that regard, I'll have to say this was a very good performance from Bangladesh. Although they're not without flaws, but before we get into that, let me just quickly go over the scorecard, which I have pulled up right here. Okay, uh, Mashrafi finally won the toss and decided to bowl first. Okay, so uh, Shea Hope uh, scored uh, 74 of 64 balls with 6 fours and 3 sixes. Uh, uh, Sunil Ambrose remained not out. 60, 69 of, wow, 78 balls. I, I thought he would have scored them faster than that. With 7 fours. And uh, Darren Bravo remained not out uh, on 3 of 3 balls. Okay, now here's the thing. After around about 20 or 20.5 20 or so, or so something like 20.1 overs, uh, there was a severe rain, but thankfully it was a, a passing shower. And after that, the match was reduced to 24 overs. So West Indies ended up uh, scoring... Hold on. West Indies ended up scoring 152 for 1 from their 24 overs. Now, under the Duckworth, Duckworth and Lewis method, Bangladesh were set a, a total of 2... Of 210 to be scored from 24 overs. Round about like, like 9 runs and over whatnot. Okay. Uh, as for Bangladesh. Tamam uh, Mikbal uh, couldn't do much today. Scored 18 of, of 13 with two fours. Shammo Sharkar actually continuing his, his rich vein of form. Uh, unfortunately could not translate that to a century. Uh, 66 of 41 balls. And he actually got to his 50 in pretty good time. Like like 27 balls or something. With uh, 9 fours and 3 sixes. Uh, Sabi Rahman, he was the makeshift number 3. Uh, I don't think that's his place. I think he, he, sh he should remain down the order. LBW... Uh, uh, LBW for uh, for a duck. Uh, Mushrik Rahim. Um, he scored a youthful 36 of 22 balls with two fours and two sixes. Mohammad Mithun. Um, he scored a 17 of 14 balls with one four and one six. Mahmoudullah remained not out. Eight. Uh, 19 of 21 balls, so the, it's not th that much d different, you know, you, you, could, you could have made it up. The 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 run and the ball difference, you know, you, the the runs could have over overtaken the ball in a while. Because, you know, actually, that's kind of how Maudel plays it. Once he's set in, he actually starts scoring at a faster rate. Okay, with 1-4. And finally, Mossadegh Hussain, who knew? Not out. 52 of 24 Balls. I believe he got to a 15, like 21 balls or something. With two fours and five sixes at a strike rate of 216 plus. Okay, um, I sort of glossed over the bowling. Um, for Bangladesh, uh, Mashavi Mortaza, uh, uh, six overs, uh, 28 runs, no wickets. Uh, Saifuddin, um, Five overs, was it? Yeah, five overs, uh, 29 runs, no wickets. Mustafa Rahman, big point of concern. Five overs, 50 runs. He went, he went for a 10 runs and over. That, 
See, here's the thing. Mustafa the Rahman really, really, really needs to check himself in terms of consistency. He, he can keep doing this. You, you are not going to get assistance from every pitch you bowl on, Mustafa. You are not. The pitches you don't get assistance from, you have to learn how to bowl proper line and length with, with, with variations. And I've noticed something. Wait, wait. Actually, uh... Let me get to this. Uh, uh, let me finish this. Uh, Mosada Gosain, two overs for, for nine runs. Mehdi Hassan Miraz, four overs for 22 runs and the only wicket. Sabir Rahman, uh, two overs for 12 runs. All right, but given that it's a curtailed game, uh, you know, you can't fully, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, say that, like, you know, the bowlers actually uh, bowl poorly or something like that. Especially like when the game had an interruption and they did not have to m have the chance to make a proper comeback. The second innings did not have interruption, but the first innings had interruptions. So these interruptions, trust me, if you have played cricket, you know these are very big deals. Okay. As for West Indies, Ashley Nurse, three overs for 35 runs. Uh, uh, no wickets. Uh, good to see Bangladesh have figured out how to, how to handle ha Ashley Nurse. Jason Holder, four overs for 31 runs. No wickets. He needs, he needs to check himself too. Kimar Roach, five overs for 57 runs. This dude really needs to check himself. Really. Shannon Gabriel, um, three overs for 30 runs and, and two wickets. Comparatively, he bowled somewhat better because he got two wickets. Raymond Reefer, he bowled 3.5, uh, 23 runs. For two wickets, he, I think he might have, he, he, he's the pick of the bowlers. Because his economy is uh, 6.00. I think everyone else is like, you know, over six. And Fabian Allen, the guy who I wrote off. Four overs for 37 runs and one wicket. And I still write him off. 9.2, 9.25 runs and over. Okay, so that's it for, that's it for this match in terms of the scorecard. Um... Let me just prepare the other scorecard real quick. Okay. Now. See, here's the thing. Mustafa, first of all, let's talk about Mustafa Rahman. Really, really needs to check himself. Really needs to check himself on, on like, how he's going to bowl to, uh, uh, like, you know, to batsmen in conditions where the pitch is not giving him any assistance. Because remember, Mustafa Rahman is a theme bowler, not... A swing bowler, a seam bowler. Maybe it's time he learns how he he, he learns how to bowl proper swing, M because if you know the Mustafa Rahman, he was coming way, way wide of the crease and bowling his deliveries. With that angle, if you generally don't bring the ball into the batsman, how the hell are you going to get the batsman out? Like when when the batsman know that know that the best that's going to happen, the ball is going to just go straight. Or maybe just like deviate just a little bit. So all the batter needs to do is play a horizontal batted shot just to compensate for the lateral movement. How the hell are you gonna are you gonna get wickets that way? Okay. Uh, in fact, all bowlers had a bad day today. Um, but that's not to say that's not to say uh, West Indies got lucky. Oh no, oh no, no, no. In fact, the match actually was in West Indies' favor, considering, considering Bangladesh are not, are, are, are not a good T20 side. Bangladesh are one of the worst T20 sides when it comes to rankings. West Indies are way more experienced in ba in T20 cricket when it comes when it comes to comparing them with Bangladesh like you know in terms of their uh, ability and prowess two time world champion West Indies of T20 cricket this is uh, th these are similar conditions to T20 cricket like uh because the match ended with seven balls to spare okay the match ended with seven balls to, to spare and yes there was a good uh, back and forth in this match until Musadda Hussein came in and that one over, I believe the 20 or, or 21st or 21st or 22nd over or 20 or 21st, 22nd over. Uh, 
I I did not keep count exactly. I'm sorry about that. But that one over, Musadda Hussain was taking the West Indian bowling to the cleaners. Bam four, bam six, bam scoop, like scoop shot six, bam reverse, you know reverse paddle sweep for four, bam reverse sweep for four, bam paddle shot for six, you name it. So that was a very good sign shown by Mossad Hussain actually, which makes which uh, makes him a possible candidate for a replacement number three because imagine if he's given some more time if a condition arises that Shaqib is injured imagine if Musaddaq is given a bit more time we might actually have a better suited batsman I'm not talking about a bowler I'm not talking about a bowler I'm not talking about someone who's a power hitter Musaddaq Hussain is not a power hitter so I don't think he he'll be as effective down the order. He might be more effective, and this is a big might be. He might be more effective on top of the order, a bit higher up in the order, like number three or number four. But maybe like Mohammed Mithun's place, maybe. Because if you bowl, if you have Shakibul Hassan and Musaddaq Hussain, you already have a wicket keeper in Mushrik Rahim. Yeah, if you're let's say you're playing a Litton Das, you have a replacement wicket keeper. Wicket keeper. If you're playing Litton Das, Mushrik Rahim, and Muhammad Mithun, you have three wicket keepers. Why do you need three wicket keepers in one team? But that being said, uh, oh, West Indies. Oh my God! Oh my God! Like almost nothing's going their way. Even their fielding's not going their way. But it's not as bad as another team field fielding that also had a game today. I will get to that in another video. Or, in fact, um, as I'm recording this, that uh, like because this video is being processed by Adobe Premiere Pro, so by that by that time, I believe the other video has already uploaded. So if you've seen that video, you know what team I'm talking about. But. West Indian, the field, the feeling was not good. The bowling was all over the place. You even saw the early movements of the batsmen. The bowlers could not read it. At this level, playing so much domestic cricket, by the way, which is actually a lot of it is live streamed on the West Indian Cricket Board ch YouTube channel. So you even have a decent amount of coverage. Although very bad camera work, but still, like, you know, uh, like, you know, some coverage compared to no coverage. Okay. You have this, uh, uh, the Caribbean Super 50 or whatever. You have the Caribbean Premier League. All these innovations, and you still can't read the Batson once they start making initial movements. So much so that, like, before the ball is delivered, the Batsman have al has already hopped on to one foot waiting for the ball to be delivered so that he can scoop it over fine leg for six so i don't know who the west indian fast bowling coach is but oh my god west indies really need to check themselves because there's only so much a uh, chris gale a uh, shamron hetmeyer i don't know if john campbell's in this team if he is, yeah, Chris Gale, Shamron Hetmeyer, Evan Lewis, Shea Hope, there's only so much they can do, okay? In the end, if your bowling is horrible, if your batting is good and your bowling is equally as horrible on the day that your batting fires, you're not going to win a cricket match. In fact, I would say you'd be lucky to win a cricket match. But anyways, uh, Bangladesh, uh, given this tournament, deserve it undefeated champions of this uh, uh, Walton Tri-Series. Yes, it's a Tri-Series. And I would say, yes, they still have a lot to improve upon, especially when it comes to their bowling because Bangladesh are not suited to bowling too many short deliveries. Okay, they really need to check that, their line and length, and their catching. 
outfield high ball catching really need to work on that i believe like you know that there was a uh, like there might have been a chance or two dropped in this match as well and west indies uh feel it worse but still that's not an excuse for bangladesh not to field properly all right that's about it congratulations to bangladesh once more obinondan janai bangladesh tigers ke and as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, TanTigers01, Twitter and Instagram01, follow me on Instagram as well, hit that bell notification button. If you're bored, the Instagram, the V side, the Bengal Dragon signing out.